hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm uh, here to play some pinball. Oh god, there we go. Nope, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with uh, pinball. I'm here to play pinball. That's all you need to know. I'm here to play pinball. I realized that I uh, bought this a long time ago and then never did a video on it and then said, wait a minute, that seems wrong. So I'm gonna play some Charlie Brown Christmas Pinball. I think I did videos talking about it. Um, I bet you're wondering right now, how can you take Charlie Brown's classic tale of learning about the spirit of Christmas, the, uh, the given, and then also some religious undertones, not over undertones, they're very strict about it at the end of it, <laughs> about that this is about Jesus and stuff like that. But how do you turn this into a pinball machine? Charlie the answer Brown is, Christmas. it's pretty cool. Let me show you right here. I don't remember how to play. We're gonna go classic. Pinball FX, that's the, that's the name of the full game. <laughs> Alright, I'm also afraid that I'm gonna get copyright struck in because I'm pretty sure this has Charlie Brown music. Yeah, that's straight up just, uh... This is a fantastic Christmas special. One of the best. As you can see here, we'll look at the pinball table. Here's Charlie Brown. They fully rendered in that single hair that he has. Bald child. Hate to see it. The slopes, the Charlie Brown, don't know what that is, but it's a board thing. There's Snoopy just hanging out. No focus on Snoopy, though. Not yet, anyway. So. I think there must be something wrong with me. I just don't understand Christmas, I guess. There you go. Find we the have to <laughs> find the clashing letters, and maybe we can teach Charlie Brown about the spirit of Christmas. All right, let's go. I like getting presents and sending Christmas. <laughs> 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 Uh, this is not how I'm going to be able to teach Charlie Brown at all if I'm making that kind of mistake. Strike the director hole. You got it, Charlie Brown. I'm going to hit that. Wait for it. Biggest aluminum tree you can find, Charlie Brown. Maybe painted pink. Okay, I'll take Linus with me. The rest of you practice your lines. Shoot the left center loop. Shoot the right ram. It's really weird to be. Oh. To ha hear the story of Charlie Brown Christmas being told to you, while also being told, go for, like, the left bumper. And be <laughs> it kind of ruins the story flow, to be honest with you. But it's alright. Figure it out. Oh, god! I feel like there was other balls in in some general direction, and I don't know where they went. Shoot the right loop. He wants me to shoot the right loop? There we go. That's the right loop. Oh, god. Ah! Well. Nobody sent me a Christmas card today. Yeah, and so every time you fail, Charlie Brown gets more depressed about how nobody cares about him on Christmas. You know, the more I think about the, uh... <laughs> Thank you, little boy. Tell me about the depression. This is, again, a very a wild, a very, like I said beforehand, a very good uh, Christmas special. But it's a hell of a thing to make into a pinball table. Not the first thing I would go for as you try and, like, get your multiplier up and a little child is telling you, I just don't feel the Christmas spirit and I'm depressed. And I don't know if there's a reason to go on. Shoot the life left side of the screen. It just doesn't... <laughs> Damn it! Okay, no, we're fine. Can I spell out Snoopy real quick? No, I can't. I need to remember that there's a... I'm trying, Charlie Brown! It is not that easy. There we go, Charlie Brown. <sighs> it only makes me sadder that Charlie Brown gets so sad every time I fail. I think that's it. No. We gotta make Charlie. Yeah, again. Oh. Okay. Trying to shoot the. All right, all right. Enough fucking around. Oh, I say enough fucking around and then immediately fuck around. Frida, you're the innkeeper's wife. Shoot the director hole. <laughs> Never gonna get used to hearing him say director hole. Uh, there we go. Come on. Hype in geophobia. No. Oh, yes. Okay. No. Shoot the director hole for the gift. Oh God. I'm trying to shoot your director hole, Charlie Brown. It is not working out right now. No! Okay, no, we're good. Go here. Alright, yeah, right there. Multiplier increase. There we go here. Hit the mailbox. 
Oh wait, get an award, gift what award. Christmas present is. Give me a house. <sighs> Money. Shoot the mailbox, strike the countdown. On your All right, you got it. Nice job. Oh god. There's a lot of snowflakes so over here. I never eat December snowflakes. I always wait until January. Ah! Why are you waiting till January to eat snowflakes, boy? Oh god. My cat Lucifer is currently freaking out. Ah, it's fine. Oh. No! I'm gonna blame you, Lucifer. He's not around me anymore, but he can't handle Charlie Brown Christmas. And now Charlie Brown's gonna be depressed because I couldn't even get into that director hole at all. Sad. Sad state of things. That's me. Ah. Uh, we'll try that again. Alright. One more time. There must be something wrong with me. I just don't understand Christmas, I guess. We need to save Charlie Brown. So No one cares about Charlie Brown in the Charlie Brown universe, but I care about you, Charlie Brown. I'm still not happy. Shoot the left ramp. Even if you want me to constantly shoot the left ramp. Uh, oh, shit. There we go. Get. There we go. Nope. Did you know that uh, a long time ago, pinball was going to be... Was illegal? Because it was considered gambling and the way that that it was eventually lifted was in front of i think the gaming commission if i remember if i'm remembering the story correctly in front of the gaming commission they had to um prove that the game was not random and be able to make a shot exactly where the person who was judging the game could make it. Basically, they said, if this isn't random and it's not gambling, what you're doing, then you need to. Um, damn it! You need to make this shot. And then he went to go do it, and he made the shot exactly where he did. And from that point on, the pinballs were no longer considered potentially gambling and also potentially illegal as well. Oh, there we go. If I'm remembering that correctly, it was it was wild times in America. I don't know what. It seems silly to me that anyone at any point would have considered this gambling, because what am I gambling for? What am I doing this for other than for me? You're a shepherd. The I'm the shepherd. Hole. I don't know, there's a lot of... I guess at the same time you could consider... Oh, but it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they were doing it. Again, I, I, I wish... It, it was probably mob-related or something. Like most things. God damn it! Ball saved. There we go. Like most things, they probably thought it was something connected to the mob and people were just putting in quarters to, I don't know, do something. And they weren't actually thinking of it. It's like a competitive. I think it was like something to do like competitive even. And I'm pretty sure they do competitive pinball now. Somewhere. I assume someone does it. I actually should look that up. Just to be sure. And also look up that story as well. I remember hearing it from from somewhere, but now I can't remember. Like most stories, when you hear it, <clears throat> you hear it the first time and you go, man, that's really interesting, and then over the years, the story goes like, I'm pretty sure I remember how that story goes. But, uh, uh, hopefully I'm correct on that. Uh, and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. And I'll just have to take that lying down. I'm at two. Can I please... Go in that hole. Freedom. Yes! You're the innkeeper's wife. The innkeeper's wife, let's go! I almost lost it. Here we go. Oh god. You have oh, yeah. I have what? Amerofacia? Uh, oh! It did not go. Shoot the director hole. Charlie Brown. I, you're telling me to shoot so many different directions. Which which direction do you want, Charlie Brown? 
No, funny enough, this still is not as, like, hectic as, like, real pinballs. Where pin real pinballs are, like, constantly shouting at you to do the right thing. Damn. Is that it? I always no. end up feeling depressed. Hit the flashing letters. Sorry, depressed child. I like getting presents and sending Christmas cards and decorating trees and all that. But I'm still not happy. Shoot the left uh. ramp. Super spinner. Super spinner. <laughs> yeah, again, the, the, that's that's what I was talking about. Where like he'll go and say the classic Charlie Brown lines of being depressed and not understanding the point of Christmas, and then say like super spinner. <laughs> Great stuff. Oh. Cow Mew. Okay, go. Oh, I beat my high score, it looks like. Or I'm close to it. Go here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, new record, let's go. Hype and geophobia, sure. I'm gonna pretend to know what that is. Oh shit. I have to be careful with that ramp because that ramp has almost always led to my death. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, light him up. Gift award! Get the bike, get the bike! Get the bike. Money. Multiplier increase. There we go. Multiplier increased. I have currently a ball save. I want to get the Shoot tree. The ramp. Shoot the left ramp, huh? I got you. He didn't specify which left ramp. Oh god. Left ramp! Nice Shoot to activate to activate the starter. Okay, gotcha. No! That's it. I think this is the last one, if I remember right. No! Yes, it was. Well, beat my high score. And I got a chair. Thank you for the chair. Level 2. Let's go. We'll bring to 1,078. Let's go. Uh, let's see. You know, I just uh, do due diligence. There is another... Um, I do like this game a decent bit. It's a, it's a lot of boards, as you can see. A lot of DLC here for it. But they got a lot of, like... I mean, they have their own special ones, which are the ones that are, like, different. But then they also have, like, some classic ones on here. Like, they have Fishtails. They got the Adam's Family. I can end it with Adam's Family, I think. Oh. Just to hear the experience of a real pinball machine. I miss actual pinball machines. Back when I was a kid, when I was, um... Uh, I was allowed to go on a trip with my dad on his truck. Whenever we stopped at a trucker stop... There were always pinballs everywhere. It was like one of the things that was always <laughs> fun whenever we did a trip anywhere. Oh god. The one thing that these... Ring! That these... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> the thing that the, these can't really replicate is the pure manicness of being inside of a pinball um, arcade. Like the pure loudness of them all. Oh. They can try though. Oh, lost again. This is pretty accurate to pinball though. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, go back in here. One play, fifty cent. That's right. Back when these would cost a fifty cents. I think nowadays, probably if you tried to play one, it would be much more expensive, like a dollar at minimum, which is crazy to think. Let's go, turn. Ah, damn it. Died again. <laughs> yeah, listen to that sound. Ding, 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 ding. 
Yeah, pretty good pinball sounds. I'm gonna go in again because I failed that horribly. In terms of all the ways you could play a pinball game, it was maybe some of the worst playing that you've ever experienced. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Apparently I've just forgotten how to play real on real pinball machines. Oh god. There we go. That should help a little bit. There we go. A little bit better. There we go. No. Oh shit! There we go. Ah, oh, slightly better just for me to still fail at the end. I will take that skill shot, thank you very much. Oh god. I can see why someone would think that these are gambling. Because it does kind of feel at times like a casino, whenever it lights up. Gomez. Gomez. Oh, I failed that so hard. Unbelievable. Is that it? Yep. Whoa. Oh, so I can hit a button and it will change the electricity. Was this something that you could do on an original animals machine? I had no idea. Alright, I'm gonna go one more time in that one because I am failing just so bad on this one. How? Tell me how that made sense. I didn't do anything. <laughs> attention. My ball is now locked in multi-ball. Cool. Hit vault electric chair, okay. There we go. Shoot left ramp for two extra, but you got it. So much! Oh god, multi ball! Go, go, go! Oh god, I, I missed that ball, unfortunately. So I think my multi ball is done. Where is it right now? I don't know where my ball went. <laughs> that I think is it. Okay, it's not it, thank god. Alright, right back in the electric chair. God damn it! I really gotta stop doing that. It's alright. I feel a little bit better at that because I was able to activate the multi ball. Thank you, thing. 
so 50. 50 extra points, I think. That's right, I unlocked the collectible, cousin it. Let's go. 4,613. Even lower than, um... <laughs> even lower than the other ones. But either way, that's Pinball FX. Um, it's a good game. Again, it's not the same feeling as actually having a pinball in your hands, but sometimes you just need to play some pinball. I think it's a very relaxing time as well. They also got Monster Bash on here. Williams, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Have I not played Creature from the Black Lagoon? Oh, I'm gonna play Creature from the Black Lagoon. Thank you. One more, <laughs> one more. These seem to go much faster because they're old style. But I'm kind of curious to see what they do for Creature of the Black Lagoon. This is a movie I think that had, um, what was this? Harrison, not Harrison Ford. I'm stupid. The Clint Eastwood in it. I think this is where the first movie that he was in, in his youth. So there's like a very, God damn it. There's a very young Clint Eastwood in Creature from the Black Lagoon, if I remember correctly. That's why there's that joke in Back to the Future about uh, seeing Clint Eastwood somewhere. Oh god! Alright, alright, not bad so far. Focus on the. Okay. Okay, this is just a button. Apparently, it's just a button I can press to do that. I'm trying to find a better angle for it. There we go. Oh. Hey, buddy. Can I help you, or are you just gonna hang out there for a bit? Oh shit! Okay, no, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. Go heal. <laughs> Appreciate the classic old boing effect. Yeah, this is the sound on this is real low. For an arcade machine, this is not how they sound. I feel like they are keeping it low on purpose. You've never seen a man fail harder than I have in this video. Are you just gonna come here to talk shit? Is that where you hear Creature from the Black Lagoon? I don't remember what they call the Creature from the Black Lagoon, other than I think Creature from the Black Lagoon. Swampy? No. That's what they call Swamp Thing! <laughs> Why do they play that? That was a... Damn. You did like, play like shit. It's the end. Cook County. I've been cooked. Not good enough. And then I can also hit the table for some reason. Level up! It was a terrible performance. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Let me try one more time. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's really low. Why is it so low? Is there a table guide? Can I actually just look at the guide? You can. I don't need to know any of this. Oh, there we go. Uh... I guess there's no button that just says make it really fucking loud. There we go. Slide! Okay, so I did see enough to say collect. Try and collect film. I have the M. Bang, 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 bang. Keep getting points. All right, go up here. Oh shit! All right. Double feature, creature feature. All right, go, y'all. Oh, very nice, it's in the back. Speaking of, um, just to give more pinball stories while I'm so hyper-focused on this, uh, depending on your age, but back in my day, Chuck E. Cheese used to actually have legit pinballs in it. Um, the local one that we had for many years, for example, 
I remember it having a Simpsons pinball. And then years later, when I went back to it and they changed everything about Chuck E. Cheese, meaning that the games were, it was less focused on arcade games, because back when I was there, it was like, yeah, you could play Turtles in Time, you could play X-Men Arcade, you could play Simpsons Arcade. They don't really have those anymore. <laughs> they have some of them, like they have the old Jurassic Park um, shoot 'em up experiments, but they don't have any of the old style arcades anymore. Um... And I wondered what happened to their Simpsons um, pinball, and then I found out what happened to it is that they refurbished it and completely gutted it to make some pointless um, ticket game. It was so sad. It was like watching your childhood literally be killed right in front of you. It's like, I can't believe they did this. Why would you kill something so beautiful to make something so unbelievably ugly? Sad times for childhood. They are uh, messing it up back there. But yeah, it's a shame. Now, obviously, there are still some places like that where it's like arcade, but it's not like it was back like in the 90s. And I guess it wasn't like that, I guess, back in the... They all have like different experiences. Like, I know that the 80s dudes who grew up in the 80s have a different kind of like arcade experience compared to mine. And the same thing is true for the 90s, and I don't think anyone in the 2000s ever played on an arcade unless they went out to one specifically, because by then they were starting to die. God damn it! Ball saved. Stay cool, Daddy O, is what he just said. Jackknife power bomb. Let's go. There we go. Go ahead. Boom. Do it again. I can do it for a third time. There we go. I have to be careful about shaking the table, because if you do it too many times, the, they cut you off. They say, like, okay, no more. Now the, the game is just locked, which I think is something that actually happens in real arcades, but I can't remember if it's true. Is it? If you shake a table too much, it just automatically locks up. They understand that some people... If doing it, like, two or three times, that's okay. It's doing it the fifth time is where it's like, alright, buddy... You're cut off. Put another quarter if you want to continue shaking. Go, y'all. Oh yeah, snack bar bonus. Let's go. No! Well, it's all right. I'm feeling much better about the. Yeah, you're doing better, guy. I'm sorry I took some shit on you. That's what he's coming up to say to me. I would have loved to immediately fucked up right there. <laughs> 3D. It's weird that I feel like this isn't really focused on the creature of the Black Lagoon and more of the experience of going to go watch the creature from the Black Lagoon. Which is like movie stuff. It's alright. Oh. Universal presents the creature from the Black Lagoon. Multi ball. Oh. I mean, that's, I, that's fair, I guess. I'm not saying that I expect a full-on, like, yeah, like, underwater things, and there's not that many people who probably remembered it by the time this arcade thing came out, so. Oh, God. Seems to be doing perfectly fine as it is right now. I got a collectible mold car. Oh, God. I got an achievement. I got... Oh, God. He's on the table now. He's coming at me. Do I fight him? I'm trying! <laughs> I can't tell if I'm legitimately fighting him right now or if all the attacks I'm doing are actually legitimately killing him. It's working out. Go! I unlock some more 3D glasses. I'm going crazy right now. Because of this multi ball. No! I lost one of my balls. And he's gone. Damn. He was there for a bit, he was selling it, but now I feel like... I wonder how much points I got from this. I got a lot of points from that multi-ball. Oh god, there we go. That's why pinballs are cool. <laughs> it's the ultimate experience of number go up. Numbers were going crazy right there. Makes you wonder how the original thing played. 
It does make me a little bit. I wonder if, obviously, they wouldn't have had the... That he would have appeared in the middle, but how does he appear in the middle? Like, this is, like, obviously there wasn't a 3D thing, but there must have been some kind of effect to it. Again. Shoot again. Damn, I got it. <laughs> Thank you for the free pass. <laughs> I said I, I did good enough to earn another ball, it looks like. And then I almost immediately wasted it. There goes the bam. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jack. Go in there again. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, I fucked up. I think that finally brings it to an end. As the creature shows up. Great score, player, player one. So, enter your initials. Can I put... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. Okay, whoa. Whoa. Where's the K? There's the K. <laughs> Alright, end. Player one, grand champion. Confirm. That's the end of Count County. The end of the county. You take me away. Said you did good. And I get my points here. I leveled up like, I was at like level one on this one. That one game was enough. I'm ranked 858 on Creature from the Black Lagoon. Let's go. Apparently, uh, obviously the dudes who stick there longer are able to do more. Now that's legitimately it. I can't, I can't, uh outdo that performance thank you very much everyone who ended up watching all of it because it's 30 minutes long and it's much longer than i intended it to but still pinball effects it's a really fun game i could play pinball all day till next time i will see you guys in the next video peace out say goodbye boy Bye.